Hi everybody, this is Jenny from By Jenny Designs, and today I'm going to show you how to work up these super easy stocking ornaments. For this pattern, you just need a small amount of worsted weight yarn, size H or 5 millimeter crochet hook, a pair of scissors, and a darning needle. I'll get all of this moved out of the way and then we'll get started. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. For this pattern, you're going to begin with a magic circle. To make a magic circle, grab your yarn with your working yarn to the left, place your thumb on top of the yarn, wrap around, holding the end of the yarn behind the working yarn, stick your hook through, grab the working yarn, pull up a loop, chain one. Now for row one, we're going to work seven single crochet into the circle. There's my seventh. So we'll just double check, two, four, six, seven. After you have your seven single crochet, pull your circle tight, and then join with a slip stitch to the very first single crochet. Now for row two, you're going to chain one. You're gonna work two single crochet into each stitch around. Go ahead and work your way around and I'll meet up with you at the end of the row. Okay, I am here at the end of row two. Go ahead and join with a slip stitch. Chain one. And you can count, make sure you have 14 single crochet in this row. And before we move on, I'm going to go ahead and sew in this end because pretty soon you won't really have access to be able to sew this in. So you just make sure you pulled it tight and then sew it in. Oh, I should have my pliers. Go back this way one more time. Oh, my goodness. Okay. After you've done that, you can just cut it off. my yarn. Okay, now for rows three through six, you're going to be working a single crochet into each stitch around. So go ahead and work your way through row six and I will meet up with you at the end of row six. So that again is just single crocheting into each stitch around. When you get to the end, join with a slip stitch, chain one, single crochet around till you complete six rows. Okay, I'm just finishing up row six here. For row seven, you're going to chain one, and then we're going to single crochet two together 
So insert your hook into the first stitch, pull through a loop, insert the second stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through all the loops. Then we're going to double crochet Then we need to work two double crochet in the next stitch and two double crochet in the stitch after that. Okay, after that, work a double crochet. Then a single crochet, two together. And then we need to slip stitch into six. And you need to do this very loosely so that you can get into it easily in the next row. Here's my last one. And now go ahead and join to the first stitch. Okay, row eight is worked exactly the same as row seven, but I don't expect you to remember that, so we're gonna do it together again. Chain one, single crochet, two together. Then double crochet, then work two double crochet into each of the next two. double crochet into the next and then single crochet two together and now loosely slip stitch into six And now you can join to the first stitch of the row. Chain one. And row nine is just like row seven and eight. Start with a single crochet, two together. Double crochet in the next. Two double crochet into the next two stitches. double crochet into the next, single crochet two together, 
and then loosely slip stitch into six. Oh, sometimes these can be really hard to get into. If you find it very hard, you can use this side of your hook to kind of get in there and grab it easier. Okay, now join with a slip stitch, chain one. And now rows 10 through 16 are all exactly the same. You're just gonna be single crocheting into each stitch around. And your stitch count for each row should be 14. Go ahead and single crochet around. When you get to the end, join and then chain one. Continue to do that until you have 16 rows total. Okay, I'm just finishing up row 16 here. Go ahead and join. And then we're going to fasten off. And now we're going to grab our white yarn or whatever yarn you're using for the upper trim. Make your slip knot. And then instead of joining on the right side here, we're going to join on what would be the wrong side. And you can join anywhere. Just join here with a slip stitch, chain one, and then we're going to work two single crochet into this space. And then single crochet into the next six. After you've worked six, work two single crochet into the next stitch. And I'm just crocheting over my end here, then you have less sewing. Okay, so after you've worked two in that space, single crochet into the last six stitches. So your stitch count should be 16 single crochet. Go ahead and join to the first single crochet you made with a slip stitch. Okay, for row 18, we're going to chain one, and then we're just gonna work a single crochet into each back loop only around. Go ahead and work your way around using only the back loop and I will meet up with you at the end of the row. Okay, I am just finishing up row 18. Go ahead.
ahead and join the slip stitch. For rows 19 through 21, you're going to chain one, and then you're going to single crochet into each stitch around. Go ahead and work your way through row 21, and then come back here and I'll show you how to make the hanger for the stocking. Okay, I have finished up row 21. After you finish row 21, you can go ahead and fasten off. And then you can sew in all your ends really quick. I'm not going to put you through watching me sew in my ends, so I will be right back after these are all sewn in. Okay, after you've sewn in all your ends, you can go ahead and fold down the white part. And now we can make our hanger. So grab whichever color you're using to make a hanger. Start with your slip knot. And then you're just going to join at the back of the stocking. Go all the way through there. Join with a slip stitch. And then chain 18. Seventeen, eighteen. Okay, after you have your chain, you're just going to slip stitch back into the same space that you started in. And then you can fasten off. After you've fastened off, you can go ahead and sew in these ends. I like to pull them down through and underneath the white edge here, and then I sew them in. So there you have it. Just hanging up these little stockings now. And I just wanted to say a quick thank you for watching along and crocheting with me. Next week I'm going to have two more Christmas ornament patterns. We have this little Santa hat here and a cute little elf hat. So if you'd like to make those, come on back next week.